What's up there workforce, Chris here with work to game and let's talk a little about if Google should have a gaming console and if they're working on one. Now Google's had a long history of acquiring in pieces of all kinds of different industries. They've had things like they had a play in like the Nexus box or something, which was like this hundred dollar casual gaming box that was supposed to be an extension of Android. I'm an Apple user, so I didn't really follow it much. I feel like that was like 2014, 50, somewhere around there. So it's, it's been three or four years and uh, it seems like there might be rumors that they're getting back in. Now, to no surprise, everybody said, well, Google was at E3 this year. Well, of course they're at E3. But the question is, with gaming getting so much news coverage right now, especially around games like Fortnite, which are generating preposterously large amounts of money, everybody that is not looking into gaming should be. And so when you have a company as large as Google, who reportedly tried to acquire Twitch before Amazon scooped them up and owns YouTube, which has a huge presence in gaming, it is a question of, well, if they got into gaming, what would that look like? If you think way back, depending on how old you are and, and when you got into gaming, Microsoft got in to Xbox and it was a big deal. And a lot of people said they'd fail. And a lot of people said, oh my gosh, this is the greatest thing ever. And they've become... A, a namesake, a, a household name, Xbox is absolutely accepted as one of the traditional platforms now. And so what would Google look like? Now, the first thing I think of is, well, Steam tried to do that. Steambox seemed like it would be this logical progression and it didn't work because I guess the technology wasn't there at the time. So the first problem that they're gonna have to overcome is they're going to want exclusive games. That's what's gonna draw people over to the platform. So were they at E3 to poach possible devs? Are they interested in making their own studios, acquiring existing studios? If so, what studios would be likely to make the jump and who would they be buying them from? Uh, there's a lot of big players out there right now and a lot of those big players have acquired all kinds of studios, not just Microsoft, but you have Activision and EA, you know, all these big players going out and buying up all these little indie studios. I mean, you think about Sony and their role in that. How would Google go out and, and do a similar thing? And would they start as a game publisher or would they try to roll this all at once? Now, the next thing they've said is that they kind of want it to be a streaming platform. If they were to get into this, the rumors say that they would be looking to do it as a streaming platform, which makes sense as kind of a internet-based company. Uh, and it would be kind of up their wheelhouse. When you think about everything they do from the fact that they have the world's two largest search engines all the way to the Google, Google Fiber Network, uh, things like that, it makes sense that they would push that streaming direction. Um, that's something that we could expect to see out of possibly the next Xbox. So it's not a foreign concept. Uh, NVIDIA is testing their like GE Force or whatever it's called right now, where you could actually stream high-end gaming because server rack space has gotten a lot cheaper. And so if you could have it doing the processing and you have the bandwidth to handle, you know, standard acceptable levels of latency, you know, where your ping isn't so bad that you can't play, could you actually take all that processing power and push it on that end and then sell really cheap entry into those servers? And would that take out things like, would that make it easier to track cheating and, and have a better interaction between players because everything everything is happening server side? Uh, I'm not a technological genius, but it's definitely something that would be interesting. Um, the next thing that they, they have talked about is if there are rumors on this, if any of those rumors are to be trusted, there would be a hardware piece. And would that look like a kind of a Chrome stick or is that a full blown console? Is it a box that I buy? Uh, is it an extension of, you know, a PC type platform? Is it a standalone thing? You know, could it be marketed as like a little netbook that's geared towards gaming but can do other tasks or is it gaming exclusive? Uh, and so I have a lot of questions here and mostly all I have seen is rumors. I've seen a ton of rumors today from a ton of different sources. They trickled out over the week. Uh, over the last several years, people have been more and more speculating that Google is interested in getting into you know, industries that they previously stayed away from, a lot like Amazon is getting into grocery stores uh, with their purchase of Whole Foods and things like that. So you know, will they take their existing infrastructure and get into gaming? I don't know. Uh, does it seem like it would happen eventually? Absolutely. There is no reason for companies as large as Apple, Amazon, and Google to not have a place in gaming. Amazon has obviously been leading the charge there out of those three by having a place on Twitch that is so heavily gaming centric. Google is second to that with YouTube and Apple's way in the back. Uh, Microsoft is obviously has a whole gaming division, Sony whole gaming division. So it, it is not shocking to see these large mega 
companies that have parts of media and technology and sometimes entertainment uh, to get into gaming as it becomes one of the largest industries. Major League Gaming has gotten to the point where revenue, I saw somewhere, they said it surpassed the amount of revenue generated by the Super Bowl. Now that's one event versus you know an entire year's revenue, but when you have things like huge prize pools coming out for, once again, Fortnite, it is an interesting time to look at how much money has to be around this industry before people say, we are late to the party, we've got to get in and we've got to get in in a meaningful way. So my question really is, since we don't have any true confirmed news here, what would you guys like to see from a Google you know, box of some kind, a, a Google gaming platform? What would you see that looking like? What do you think it would do in a new and interesting way? How does it not just become something that takes from PlayStation and from Xbox, uh, but something new and different, the same way like the Nintendo is. It's just a disruptor. Uh, Nintendo is a huge gaming company, but their platform has always been atypical. It's always kind of set out by itself and then just done very competitive things at that. So what would Google do that's new and unique? What kind of, you know, games would they make? Are there studios that you think they could pick up that it would be a good thing that you'd be excited that Google picked them up? Uh, and, and how do you guys feel even at the very least of them just becoming a publisher, of them just becoming, you know, somebody who backs studios, picks winners, drives things to market? Uh, and how do they avoid the conflict of interest? Because the full weight of Google it's an advertising company first. And so the full weight of Google, the full weight of Facebook, the full weight of these companies that their revenue centers on ads, I don't know how they can push their stuff in a, in a fair way because they're kind of paying themselves to advertise for themselves. And so it'd be easy to see how they could push up against regulation, but if they don't break any rules, they would have a huge advantage in the amount of data available to them on who to market to, how to market, and getting it done. Uh, so their marketing teams, I think, would have a pretty good insider scoop there. Uh, so this has been Chris with Work to Game. Definitely let me know in the comments down below. Let's start that conversation and see if this turns into something that's actually a bit of like a news story where we have some hard facts instead of just opinions and rumors. And I uh, hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend. I'll talk to you next time. Hey, Chris. I really like what you do on this channel, and I want to say thanks. Um, how can I do that? You know, you could try and be a patron. Oh. Okay, so tell me more about it. Well, I think you'd have to click on the link to take you to our Patreon page and uh, see if you want to support it. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to support just me. Okay. You're going to have to support both of us. So this is kind of like a win-win. So if they support you, they support me, right? I Yes. Awesome. Yes. Do we get? Uh, do we have like cool, fun rewards? Like is there anything they do. I get? They do, and we're constantly looking for ways to change that. So uh, if you support Team Brian, Team Chris, just Team Work to Game, click on that link. Yeah. Let us know what you think about the rewards, too, whether you like them or if we could do something a little bit different. And, uh, by the way, thanks for watching this video. <laughs> we really appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Take care.